Okay, this is number 57 from 3-4. Um, we are asked to write a function in vertex form. Um, they're going to give us the vertex. They're going to tell you it passes through a certain point. So vertex form is this guy, x minus h quantity squared plus k. The vertex specifically um, is h, k. So if they tell us the vertex is 1, 2, then my h value is 1 and my k value is 2, which means I can replace h and k with those numbers. So I'll do that first, and that's going to give me um, y equals a times x minus, okay, I got an h value. Uh, h value is 1 squared plus my k value here is 2. So these two numbers just went in for h and k. Um, and then I need to know what the a value is. Now this one's a little bit trickier, right? Because we've got to figure out um, what this number is. Um, so I'm going to use the other point. They gave us to that um, point for a reason. Um, and the reason is we're going to use it uh, to figure out A. So they have this point here, 310. That's an X value of 3 and a Y value of 10. Uh, and that means I can replace the X and the Y with those numbers. So I can do the X value here and the Y value here with 3 and 10. So the Y value is 10, so this is going to be 10. And that's going to equal my A value. Okay, the X value we said here was 3. So 3 minus 1 squared plus 2. Now the only unknown here, the only thing I don't know is A. I'm going to solve for A. I'm going to get down to where I have A equals a number. So I just got to do all the math um, that's happening around it. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to follow my order of operations. Let's go in the parentheses. So 3 minus 1, that's 2. Now I need to do 2 squared. So I get 10. Yeah, it's going to be 4, so 4A. Four just a little bit. I'll subtract 2 from both sides, so that gives me 8 over here. The 4a is hanging on in the right. I subtracted that 2 over. Divide both sides by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Okay, uh, so my a value is 2. Now I have everything I need. I have an h and k value, and that came from the vertex that I was given in the problem. Uh, and then I just solved for a, so I got my a value of 2. I'm going to go ahead and put this whole thing together then. Y is equal to 2 the a value, times x minus uh, h, which is 1, quantity squared, plus 2. And that becomes my final answer. Okay, I um, hope this is helpful. You could also type this thing into Desmos if you wanted to um, see that it worked. Uh, I could do a little quick check with the point 310, uh, making sure that if I plugged in 3 for x, um, and here I can do that real quick with calculator. If I plug in the point 3 here for x, I should get 10. So let's clear that. We'll do 3 in for x, so 3 minus 1. Quantity squared plus 2 it gives me 10. So they work. The x value 3 gives me a y value 10. Message me anytime with questions.